Back in August, following the U.S. exit from Afghanistan, we showed you the outpouring of local community members giving clothing and household goods to Afghan refugees who relocated to San Diego. Now, months later, the need is still high for toiletries for Afghan families. News 8's Heather Hope shows us how one woman is meeting the need by turning her home into a supply store. For those of us with extra items, we may just stuff them in our attic. Well, Barbara Cummings has transformed her Tierra Santa home, including her living room, two bedrooms upstairs, her garage, and backyard, filled with items to give to Afghan families in need. This area here is uh, uh, known as the Mini Mart. A makeshift store of supplies sits inside Barbara Cummings' living room. As you can see, it really is a Mini Mart. Here's my, my baby section. All the necessary toiletries she buys and has donated to be given to Afghan yeah. refugees who just moved to San Diego County, from toothpaste to toilet paper to book bags. Each section is labeled. And I even have like 400 bottles of nail polish that was donated. Barbara used to live in Bahrain while her husband served in the Navy there. She's always stored items to give away, but ever since the fall of Kabul in August when Afghan families fled to the U.S., her home became a warehouse for the Helping El Cajon Refugees Facebook group. Every month or so, we touch back with a family that we've already serviced, and they'll say, oh, please, can we have some more laundry soap? From downstairs to upstairs bedrooms. Toys, stuffed animals, odds and ends, pillows. More oh, kitchen items so are stored. Yeah. Every family gets a whole layout, strainer, knife, can opener, pots and pans. Then more items are spilling over in the front driveway. It's all packed out and ready to go, and I'll have to bring it inside this afternoon. Barbara keeps more things in the garage, from strollers to toys and furniture. Somebody donated these gorgeous chairs, these six chairs. It doesn't stop there. Barbara keeps more outside in a tent. We have a whole bunch of school supplies. She calls all this a labor of love. This is just what I do. This is my job, my retirement job. Big items still in need include pajamas, underwear, and bicycles. And we'll post on our website, cbs8.com, how you can help. Heather Hope, News 8.